Okay, so let's start the swing analysis video. I thought it'd be interesting to 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 make one um, with the number one driving distance on the PGA Tour this year and the most accurate driver on the PGA Tour this year. So on the left is Russell Henley, who is first in driving accuracy and hitting 73% of his fairways. And on the right is Rory McIlroy, who is 155th in driving accuracy and hits 54% of his fairways. And then in the driving distance part, Russell Henley, Henley hits uh, is 166th in driving distance and averages 290 yards per drive. And Rory McIlroy is first in driving distance and averages 327 yards per drive. So let's take a look at these swings and see um, the differences between the two and 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 why one is more accurate than the other and one why generate why one can uh, generate more distance than the other. So starting out, they both have a very good setup. Um, Rory's looks to be a little bit, he's standing a little bit taller. I like Rory's set up, set up better. Um, he looks like he's more in an athletic position. I like his, um, I like the way his uh, knees are bent. He's, I think his his feet look like they're aimed far to the right, but that could just be the camera. Um, and then, uh, but, I, but I think he's got a great, great setup right there. And then Hep Russell, he's got an excellent setup as well too. He's a, more bent at the knees. He's a little bit more... Um, almost like he's sitting down more. I'd like to see him stand a little bit taller. Um, but but excellent setup um, as well for him. And then let's see here. Let's get it started. I'll, we'll play a couple here at full, at full speed, and then we'll slow it down. Okay. So if we slow it down, let's start with the... We go to the first page. They both take the club back perfectly, almost perfect. Um, they're right on plane. Rory's is textbook. His um, club face is square. His arm, his his right arm is is straight. His arm, both of his arms are almost perfectly straight. Whereas if you look at Russell's, his right right arm is bent. And. Neither one has moved very much out of their posture. Their knees are still flexed. Their lower body still is quiet. The the weight's on the inside of the right foot. The right right knee is still flexed, so everything is good there. And then if we go on to the rest of it, halfway back with the left arm parallel to the ground. Um, Rory's, I like Rory's position better here as well. Um, his hands are in the middle of his chest. Club is on plane, whereas Russell's got the hands his hands a little bit too far behind him, a little too deep. And then if we go back to the top, here Rory has a club pointing right down the line. Club face is square. Maintain his posture. Kept the flex in his right knee. Didn't sway. Everything looks good there. Russell, same thing. His Russell doesn't quite go back as far. He takes it just short of parallel on his backswing. And, but his club face is square. Uh, his right knee is flexed. His lower body hasn't moved much. He's in a great position here as well, too. He's got an excellent position there at the top. And then as we come down... Here's where a lot of the difference is. If you look at the first move down, look how much more lower, how much Rory moves down on that downswing. It's like he moves down before he even moves laterally to the left. Usually that comes with, uh, they do that in one motion, but Rory does it, goes down, then left. And Russell, he kind of goes the same. He doesn't really even go that much left. He doesn't have that, big lateral shift like Rory does. Um, his hands stay more in front of his, for, more in front of him. Uh, his his upper body and lower body are more in sync. There's not so much of a, a big as a separation between his upper body and his lower body like Rory does. And that's a big difference. That's probably the main reason why the club head speed um, is, is different for these two. So let's look at this again. Okay, they're gonna start the downswing. Now, right there, Russell's left arm is parallel to the ground. Club's in a good position. He slightly swings a little bit out to in. And, uh, but he's, he's in a good position. He's bent at the knees. He's in a good posture. But his, 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 um, his shoulders are open more compared to where 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 um where Rory will be when we get to his when we get there. So if we look over at Rory's, 
And um, let's see if I can pause. Let me pause uh, Russell so we can get to the same spot here with Rory. Okay. So here, Rory's... See how Rory's shoulders are more back? His right shoulder is back farther. His right shoulder is more, more down. Um, that separation, this is what creates that leg and which creates that club head speed. And that looks to be the biggest difference I can see on that backswing, on the downswing, excuse me, um, as far as... And then also, let's take a look at this one, see here. Let me go down to impact. Let's go down to impact. Russell's got a good impact position, but his his hips aren't open nearly as much as Rory's will be at impact. So if we go down, Rory's is Rory is coming inside the plane. He's he swings a little out to in, or excuse me, in to out. So he comes a little too he comes too far on the inside. So these are those are that's another opposite where Russell's coming out to in, Rory's coming into out. And um and now Rory's, if you look at where his impact position is, look where his hips are facing compared to Russell's. Um, Rory's, I would say, if, they, if if you were looking at a clock and the target was 12 o'clock, Rory's belt buckle is facing like at 1 o'clock, whereas Russell's is facing at like 2 o'clock. And Rory almost stands up straight after he threw the ball. He almost like jumps up. And he goes through the ball. Let's watch that again. See, look at right. Rory's legs are almost straight up and down here, just after impact, which is a which is a great way to to get club head speed for sure. And he straightens him out. I mean, his legs are almost dead straight there, completely straight. Good follow through. Kept the spine angle. Stays in balance. Same with Russell. Russell stays in balance as well. Only difference is here you can see that here you can see the differences while one's out to in and one's into out. So if you look at the the left here with Russell, see how his his left arm is bent. He kind of chicken wings it a little bit. And then Rory, not nearly as much. His 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 left arm is straight, and he, and, he, and he's rotating that forearm around releasing the club much different because he came in to out and that's one of the big differences there see you see right here R Rory's left arm is straight you can't see it but when he brings it up it just starts to slightly bend a little bit and now look how much um, Russell's le left arm is bent and that's just because um, Russell's coming out to in a little slightly over the top and Rory's coming into out so coming a little bit on the inside and then to show to exaggerate that point even more, or let's see here, just let's see here. So now, if we go to, let's put them both at their position where they're halfway back. Now, if we go skip forward to where they are, at that same po position in the downswing, you can see the difference there. So if we look at Russell's. Backswing, downswing. His hands are slightly, you, you can tell his plane is going to be, is very close. I mean, his hands barely move, but they're uh, they're definitely coming more, is there more in front of him? They're coming from more of that out to in. Very slightly, though. It's not much at all. It's very little. But his posture is, is very similar. And he's obviously drip, got his weight on the, um, weight went from the right foot to the left foot. Um, so his is excellent. And then for Rory's, it's his backswing. And now look how much farther down or farther back his his hands become on the downswing. He comes so far inside. The his hands get so far behind him. See, look at that. I'd like to see his hands his hands get a little more out. I think he comes in too far on the inside. Um, I just think it's it's hard to be consistent and hit it when you're coming that far on the inside to hit it straight. Or you're gonna have, um, you're gonna fight. You know, he, I think Rory tends to draw the ball, 
um, which is a bit, which is beneficial for what he's doing here. But um, at the same time, really, just I think he could. I don't think he'd be sacrificing much distance by by getting his hands more in front of him. I think he'd be. I think he'd be. I think he'd have much better results, but with his driver with that. But let's just look at that. Oh, wow. And then if we go down, another thing I like to look at is the impact position and the setup. So we have both the setup, and then let's go to their impact. Let's go start with Russell. See very little movement. Same posture. Hips open up, right heel slightly off the ground. Almost textbook. Excellent. And then for Rory. Wow, look at him. He barely moves as well. Postures. He stands up a little straighter. That's because he's basically jumping up into the jumping up through the ball at this point. Right heels in an excellent position. It's just slightly off the ground. Sh sh shoulders are, are square to the target line. Hips are wide open. Look how much his hips are. How much more his hips are open. But that's excellent. And. Now, looking at these swings, you might be wondering why, how how Rory hits it so much farther when they do so many things similar to what they are. That the, the, the um, obviously it comes down to club head speed, but you would think that looking at these swings, you would think that Rory would be much more accurate. Um, Seventy three percent and fifty four percent; those are two. I mean, that's a big gap there. Um, and I don't think it's anything that is really Rory's doing wrong. I think it's just a matter of physics, and I think it's science. I think that um, if you look at, you know, if you look at a race car driver, and if you asked him if his car got his if his if his car was easier to handle the faster it went, you know, he would tell you, no, of course not. The slower you drive, uh, the easier the car is to handle. The faster the, if you drive in, the harder it is to handle. And so the same thing goes with uh, golf. So it's just a matter of the more club head speed you generate, the less accurate you're going to be. And that's just um, – and so I think that's what it comes down to. If you look at the stats on the um, on the total driving, you'll see the players that are in the, the best in the driving distance are some of the worst in accuracy. And the ones that are in the middle are usually in the middle for both um, and vice versa. So it just seems like it's not so much something with technique or – it's just bad. It just seems like it comes down to it's a matter of where where are you gonna where are you gonna find that sweet spot for for your game if you were on tour like if these guys, you know like Bryson Shambo, I love what he did. He just decided he was gonna go all out and just try to see how far he could hit it. And um, I'm surprised more people didn't copy him because I I think that's smart. Um, with the when when with golf having the par fives, and if you can tee if you can reach the par fives and two when you tee up on. On Thursday, every every time you tee up, you're four under. I think that that's a huge advantage, huge advantage, and um, so I would I would definitely be try to drive it farther, and as far as it um, versus accuracy, but um, it all but all is a matter of it all is a matter of uh, what you're comfortable with as well. If you if um, this is obviously working very well for Russell, he's a very good player, seventy three percent is excellent. So. And he, I think he did well, contended at the U.S. Open and a couple of years ago, too. So um, he's a good player. He keeps his tour card. So there's more than one way to do it, for sure.